Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, all over the world. Dobson 777 Alpha. People are trying to remind me to say Alpha. I'm sitting on my front porch after kind of a long day, and we got some rumbling in the background. It's uh, It keeps threatening to rain. We had just a little bit of rain this morning, but uh, not enough, it seems like, really to do much. I guess every little bit helps. Uh, those of you that have gardens know that the uh, God's rain actually does way better than even the city and well water, but I'm happy to get any bit that I can. I just stocked up again a whole bunch of my feed for my chickens. As you know, I've got some older hens and one rooster that today put out eight eggs. That was fantastic. Uh, could have missed one yesterday, one or two, don't know, but that uh, every once in a while I get a bonus day of a couple extra eggs, which is kind of nice. Uh, my Cornish Rock meat chickens are growing amazing. And uh, my uh, Rhode Island Reds, the, the chicks that I've been growing, I had five more escape this morning, but they were in the other pen with the other chickens, which is great because there's uh, you know water and food and everything over there, so I don't feel too bad. It's when they get outside the area that's more of a problem. So I was able to get them back into their area just fine. But anyways, I'm, uh, I'm constantly scanning the news, seeing what's going on, and some of the, um, I'll say news, of course I'm sitting out here and I'm going to get a Skeeter's biting me all up, um, starting to see some more things about uh, CMEs, you know, which is uh, coronal mass ejections, and some of the numbers are like a 25% uh, Carrington type event, which that was back in the 1850s, where it it was a massive explosion on the sun that sent a bunch of uh, material towards the earth and uh, it's, it's like electrical type energy and all we had was telegraphs and stuff at that time and it fried a lot of the telegraphs and burned down some buildings and things like that but uh, if we had something like that happen today it put you back to the stone age pretty quickly or at least the 1800s early 1800s so think about that and I've talked about this before, prepping is a big part of this channel. If one day, <clears throat> maybe you slept, uh, we actually have instrumentation up there that would give us uh, approximately about a two day warning because it takes time for the distance to the sun to the earth for it to travel. And uh, you know, whichever side is facing uh, that area gets, gets hit pretty hard. But our uh, magnetic field, which is kind of like our force field protecting the earth is uh, very weak right now point is though no electricity uh, everything probably is fried so even if you had some uh, generators and things like that it's probably going to be a little bit of a problem i have done enough research in the job that i had previously that if you have notification go disconnect the batteries on your vehicles Take the batteries out of your generators, you know, try to put a shield around it if you can. Um, take uh, sensitive equipment like radios and everything else and put them in these uh, ESD Ziploc bags. But the problem is, I don't know if any of that's really going to help you for like the radios and everything because all the radio stations, everybody's going to be fried. There may be some military things that they can come off and uh, try to get information to you, but you can just assume that you're going to be on your own. No refrigeration, no air conditioning, no lights. It's, uh, and very likely a whole bunch of houses burning down worldwide because we're all hooked up to the grid. Um, it might be smart for governments to come knock down, you know, power poles that are feeding these big long runs. It's all the longer runs that are going to be more of an issue because it's going to kind of collect up all the way across the country and run it down all the lines. So, um, I've thought about that before. Probably the best thing you do is try to isolate yourself somehow as much as possible from the grid if, if you're actually notified. There's some channels like Suspicious Observers that's out there. Uh, shortly following that, you know, it's a 25% uh, this decade and a much higher percent the following decade. And they're kind of predicting that we may have a pole flip. And it, it doesn't mean necessarily that the uh, just the magnetic field changes. It means that the actual Earth axis is going to shift. 
and it's going to wobble like a drunken sailor or whatever. The Bible talks about some of this stuff. And I mean, the oceans will be sloshing back and forth. And if you are close to the coast or you're, you're not a high enough elevation, uh, it could just wash right over you and be done. And, and by the way, I, I have a hard time understanding, you know, if the earth kind of rotates over and then back and forth several times, you know, what happens to all the houses on their foundation? Most of our stuff, we're not like bolted to the crust. I mean, I assume a lot of these houses are just going to fall over and flatten. Not a good uh, good thing at all. So you're going to get hit with a couple whammies. And I think long before that, we've got our currency crisis that's in full play. And I just posted something that Russia is just completely de-dollarizing now. They're, they're going to move to something else. And that's like a major nail in the coffin right there. And there's other countries that are uh, falling right in suit. And I talked about that it looks like China has accumulated just gobs and gobs of gold. I don't know what our country has. We haven't talked about it in a long time. All we announced is we got like 8,000 uh, tons, but China may have 20,000 tons. By the way, if all these things happen with the CME and happens with uh, uh, you know the earth toppling over and everything in the next uh, 15 years or so, um, and I'm telling you, just having a few chickens, something, having a garden, if it's not all just thrown all over the place I, I haven't quite figured out you know what this all means just yet uh, I've seen some videos talking about the safe locations and I've kind of uh, even shown that myself on uh, my channel for the grand solar minimum where I'm looking at just cold what cold is going to be like you know I've I've done a lot of things with wood stoves and stuff to and uh, canning, trying to get to where I can operate in the 1800s because, I mean, preservation of uh, food is going to be huge. Canning is like the only thing that I can think of that could kind of do that. But anyways, uh, you may have a decade or more without electricity. And that's hard to fathom. Can you imagine? I mean, I just pulled some stuff out of my garage. I had, you know, picked up a whole bunch of grain and sometimes it's easier, you know, for the chickens and stuff. I had it's easier for me to unload it in the garage and then take it down my freight elevator and then stash it in the basement. But um, I probably won't have that. I mean, I got solar, but you know, is that going to be fried? I don't know. I mean, I got batteries, is that going to be fried? I don't know. If I have enough time, I'm probably going to disconnect everything as much as I can. And uh, you know, when things stabilize, you know, you probably. It could be weeks before uh, you'd feel comfortable hooking everything back up, but I'm just thinking out loud. This is called spitballing. I mean, I've I've done an awful lot of work, as you know. I mean, I've got a bunch of water stored. I got rain catchment. I got everything. And there's a lot of things I've been reading about where uh, we could have just tremendous deluges, all from Grand Solar Minimum as well. And it's just a it's just interesting when you think about all the various problems that could just happen. So another thing you need to consider is your uh, mental health. If you, and I mean physical health as well, but if your mental health is not good right now, it's time to get it straight. Try to work through everything you can because you think life is stressful now. Honestly, I believe the governments and everything are trying to prepare us for something horrendous. Why else would they be doing what they're doing? I think these, this is uh, like intentional psychological stress they're applying because we've gone through so many decades of really just amazing calm. Uh, we haven't, I mean, think about it, it was over 100 years ago when we had like the World War I and then 80 years ago for World War II. I mean, the other stuff we've done has been uh, cakewalk compared to that. I mean, we haven't had seriously any pandemics. This last thing was a joke compared to what they had. Uh, you know, Spanish flu and everything else way back when. So I'm, uh, you know, the plagues, all that kind of stuff. So I think, uh, I think they're starting to tighten the screws to prepare us for what's coming. And um, if you're on any like recurring medications, it's time to fix yourself. If you're having some kind of mental things, it's time to try to get past those things. Um, it was a while ago I did uh, something for the mental stuff that uh, might be helpful for you. i got to try to find that video, and I called it the God Cure. And it was, uh, this is not for like super serious type issues, but let's say you're, uh, you're just having tremendous stress and uh, some anxiety of life that uh, 
it's something that you anybody can kind of do this you know I, i'm from the christian faith and so i decided to lean heavily on uh, my lord and savior and uh, i decided to fast and it was that's one of the things they talk about that allows you to kind of get god's attention um, and it's also setting aside all of the other things and you you kind of just focus on like eating vegetables you're not doing anything exotic you're not eating sweets you're not doing anything else you're kind of depriving yourself but kind of breaking yourself of a lot of bad habits too and then you do a lot of prayer and it's not just for yourself it's intercessory prayer where you're praying for everybody you know your country your family all that kind of stuff as well as yourself and try to you know, repent for any of the things that you've been doing to get right and just ask him for God to take care of all the problems you've got. Now, in the middle of all that, I, I look at it as you're kind of programming your brain. So I played uh, Christian music. I didn't want any other negative influences or anything. So I was playing that in the background and I was playing like a CD. And when the CD stopped, that's when I would do my prayer. So it was like every 45 minutes to every hour. And I would uh, do a lot of uh, spiritual reading. There were things like, uh, like the book, What Would Jesus Do? Uh, there's actually a two-part book on that. Uh, I can't remember what it was. It was like, the, What Was Jesus was the first one that was written in the early 1900s. And then the grandson uh, wrote a, a complimentary book that was more modern type issues that you might be able to relate. But it was humongously powerful, both of those books. And then the other one is Purpose Driven Life and, of course, your Bible. And then lots of rest. So, you know, you're kind of just detached from the world. And it's, it's a 21 day routine. And a lot of people are gonna be kind of, you're gonna notice huge improvement just even after seven days. And I lost a ton of weight. I was losing seven to 10 pounds a week because we're just carrying a lot of stupid weight from really bad habits. So this is a chance to reset you to actually eat properly. So, I, want, I just I wanted to put that out there so that you could realize uh, you got to holistically work all these issues simultaneously because I'm tell you you know you think what's been happening recently with uh, the scandemic and then you know what happened in Texas you know ultra cold shut down the whole state and then we've had the colonial pipeline now uh, cyber attack type stuff ransomware and uh, you know our food is being attacked and on and on and on. So I want, you've got to be as moving towards self-sufficiency if you want to try to survive what's coming. And uh, we gotta rely on some luck and some uh, divine intervention and just uh, just be as self-sufficient as possible. So anyways, that's uh, kind of my thoughts right now. I wanted to get this out to you while things were kind of fresh in my mind. Uh, I mean, I've been researching some of this for years, and that's why I've got kind of like an extreme prepping going on. I mean, I've got hundreds of pounds of rice. I got all kinds of things that can protect me uh, in the event that the house didn't flatten and everything burns to the ground. You know, I'm pretty well trying to, you know, take care of myself as many people as I can. The gardens, everything else, that's what I'm trying to do. So I hope you're doing the same. And, uh, you know, we're, we're trying not to be afraid. We're just trying to be prepared. And I think that's the secret of this. We want to have a prepared mind. All right. So I hope, I hope that uh, is helpful for you just as we think through these things and uh, a little more informal thing like I used to do years ago is just sit on the front porch and just ruminate about different things. I hope everybody's treating you well. I hope you're doing well. Do the best you can. God bless. All right, go party.
gonna go bye bye? Are we gonna go bye bye? Here we go, go bye bye. <laughs> We can go bye bye. <coughs> yeah, all right. <coughs> you going to get in the car? We're not quite ready. I'm almost ready. You almost ready? Okay. I tell you, you got to walk all around your property and pay attention to things. But I got tons of blackberries that are ready to be harvested, so I got to go get a little cup and uh, fill these things up. I was just shocked when I walked down here. I go, hey, what's that? So guess what? I got a little treat right now. Duck Duck has a new toy. Doug Doug has a new toy. Let me see it. You got a new toy? He's so happy. It's a little rabbit. Does that make you happy? Whoops. Got a little wag going on, huh? Happy boy.